Hello and welcome to episode one of my FM24 Beta Save, a uh, one season uh, rebuild of Liverpool. And uh, on today's episode, I'm going to uh, introduce you to the club, show you the uh, transfers that uh, have been arranged and uh, introduce you to the squad as it looks now. So uh, let's get straight into it and I'll be back with the uh, squad in just a moment. Okay, here is the uh, squad then as it stands today uh, before any of the uh, transfers have happened. I've started the uh, game on uh, real world mode so that the uh, transfers that happen in uh, real life will happen on the exact right dates. So uh, these are the players who are here now. We've got in goal Alisson, Kelleher, uh, Yaros and Adrian. Uh, centre backs we've got Phillips, Van Dijk, Canate, Matip, and then at uh, full backs we've got Gomez, Bradley, Simicas, Robertson, and Arroyo. Then in defensive midfield we've got McAllister, Fabinho, and uh, Henderson, Alexander Arnold and Thiago. Central midfield wise we've got um, Ritazio, uh, Soboslai, Adam Lewis, Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott and uh, that's it. And then uh, in terms of wingers we've got Gakpo, Jota, Diaz and Salah. And then up front we've got Paul Glatzel and Darwin Nunez. So uh, that's the squad as it stands now. I'll be back in a moment to uh, show you the uh, future transfers that have already been arranged. Okay, let's begin by uh, taking a look at the uh, players who are set to leave the club. Uh, we've got two goalkeepers going in uh, Jakub Ozrinski off to uh, Den Bosch on loan. Uh, Luke Hewitson is another goalkeeper who's off on a uh, four-month loan to Staley Bridge. Then in terms of defenders, Calvin Ramsey is off on loan to Preston. Billy Cometio is off to France to Dunkirk on loan. Uh, Nathaniel Phillips is off to Celtic on a four-month loan. Sepp Vandenberg is off to Mainz on loan. Uh, Karen Samuels is joining him. Uh, in fact, he's not. He's going to Brentford. Um, uh, Anderson Arroyo is off to Andorra on loan till the end of the season. Uh, in terms of midfielders, uh, Lucas Stevenson is off to Barrow on loan. Fabinho is off to uh, Al Itihad. Tyler Morton is off to Hull on loan. Uh, Dominic Cornis is off to Everdon on loan. Uh, Jordan Henderson is off to Al Etifak on a permanent transfer. Adam Lewis is off to Newport on loan. James Norris is going to Tranmere on a loan deal. Uh, James Balagizi is off to Wigan on loan. Um, Elijah Gift is leaving for Athletic Bilbao permanently. Uh, Jack Byrne is off to Greenock Morton on a permanent transfer. Uh, Max Waltman is off to Oxford United on a permanent deal. And uh, Leighton Stewart is off to Preston on a permanent deal. So uh, let's have a look now at the players who are going to be arriving. Um, we've got a few. So uh, beginning at the top, Amaro Nalo is joining from West Ham. He's a centre-back. Uh, Ryan Gravenberch is going to be joining from Bayern, defensive midfielder and central midfielder. Uh, Wataro Endu is joining from Stuttgart. 
another um, defensive and central midfielder. And Trey Neone is joining from Leicester again, a midfielder. So uh, that concludes the uh, transfers. And uh, I'll be back in a moment to uh, show you the uh, games we've got lined up for uh, pre-season. Okay, here are the uh, games we've got set up for uh, pre-season then. We begin with a game against our second 11. Uh, we then uh, play Monaco at home, uh, Olympic Lyon at home, Tranmere Rovers at home, before we uh, go on tour and play Guangzhou and Seoul in South Korea. Uh, we then play Preston North End at home. Then we play Monaco at home in Jordan Henderson's testimonial game. Then it's Athletic Bilbao at home. And we round things off with a trip to Turkey to face uh, Basak Shahir FK. Uh, before we uh, start the Premier League season at home to Chelsea. I'll be back in a moment to uh, show you uh, the additional transfers that we uh, pull off in pre-season and uh, the squad as it stands going in to the new uh, campaign. Okay, well, pre-season is over and the uh, season is just uh, six days away. So uh, time now to uh, round up the transfer business. And we have managed to add one player to the squad. Um, we've uh, spent big. We've uh, brought in Yusuf Makoku from Borussia Dortmund for an initial £75 million, pounds, uh, rising to a potential... 90 million pounds so let's take a look at him and uh, as you can see he is a striker we all knew that anyway he's got uh, decent attributes across the board and five star potential so really excited about what he might be able to uh, to bring to the squad and uh, i'll be back in a moment to show you the squad as it looks now Okay, here we go then with the uh, squad roundup. Beginning in goal, Alisson clearly first choice and uh, Kelleher a very capable backup. Alisson is returning from injury, so may miss the uh, opening game of the season. So Kelleher might play the first one, but Alisson will be the, uh, the regular first choice goalkeeper. Moving on to the back four, starting with the left backs. Robertson is ahead of Simicass in the queue. Um, at centre-back, we've got uh, Van Dijk, Canate, Matip and Gomez. And the same on the other side. And then at right-back, Joe Gomez is actually uh, a decent option at right-back as well. Um, and we've also got Trent Alexander-Arnold and uh, Connor Bradley, a youngster with the potential to be as good as Trent. Um, moving on to defensive midfield, um, we've got uh, three that we know the ability of in Thiago, Trent Alexander-Arnold and uh, Alexis McAllister. And then two future signings uh, who are coming in in Ryan Gravenberch and Wataru Endo who we don't yet know exactly how good they're going to turn out to be. Moving on to the left central midfield, the ball-winning midfielder, um, Alexis McAllister, um, Thiago, Soboslai, Harvey Elliott and Curtis Jones are all capable of playing in there. And again, Gravenberch and Endo, and we don't know how good they are yet. Uh, moving on to the uh, right-hand side midfielder, the box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, Alexis McAllister, Soboslai, Thiago. And then Endo, we don't know yet. Uh, Curtis Jones is the weakest option that we know about. And Harvey Elliott is, should be ahead of him in the pecking order. So I'll move him up. 
and Ryan Gravenberch. Again, we don't yet know how good he is. Uh, moving on to the left-hand side, uh, Salah is the best option with Diaz very close behind him. Jota not far behind as well. And then Gakpo, Nunez, uh, Soboslai, Jones are also capable. And I'll remove Glatzel and Ritazio because they are not going to get uh, game time in those positions. And on the right hand side, Salah again tops the list. Diaz behind him with Gakpo, Soboslai, Jota and Harvey Elliott, the realistic options. Again, I'll remove Glatzel. He's not going to play in there, not this season. And up front, again, Mohamed Salah is uh, at the head of the queue. Darwin Nunez just behind him. Um, Diogo Jota also, uh, in fact, Diogo Jota is a better option than Darwin Nunez on that side. So Nunez drops to third. Uh, Gakpo is uh, as good, but uh, doesn't have the same level of potential. So I'll put him slightly behind. And then we've got Makoku, who on paper is the weakest currently, but has the uh, best potential by some distance. So uh, that concludes the uh, squad roundup. And I'll be back in a moment to show you the uh, pre-season results. Okay, here are the uh, results from pre-season. And as you can see, we won every match. We started with uh, a game against our own second 11, beat them 4-1. We then beat Monaco 2-0 at Anfield. Uh, Olympic Lyon were beaten 3-1 at Anfield. We then played Tramir Rovers at home and beat them 4-0. We then went uh, over to uh, South Korea and beat Guangzhou 4-1 and uh, Seoul 4-1. We then played Preston North End at Anfield and beat them uh, by four goals to nil. We beat uh, Monaco at Anfield by three goals to one. We then played Athletic Bilbao at Anfield and beat them 5-1 and rounded things off with a trip to Turkey to face Basak Shahir and beat them by four goals to one and uh, that concludes the uh, pre-season roundup so uh, I'll be back in a moment to uh, tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay well with pre-season out of the way and uh, this being uh, just a beta save. I'm going to show you the vast majority of the games this season. So um, I'm going to bring you back immediately and show you the first two games of the season. At home to Chelsea and away to Brentford. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.